With the remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl releasing soonish, sort of, uh, I feel like this is actually a pretty fitting time for me to go ahead and do the next first partner pack. Uh, let's go ahead and try to open this thing without completely destroying it. Wow, that is probably the cleanest job I've ever done opening one of these big packs. They seal them so poorly. And let's slide these babies out of here, throw them cards right there. And we should have two packs in here as well. So let's see what packs I decided to put in the Diamond and Pearl one. We have the base set Sword and Shield. I definitely do not mind that. And we have Chilling Rain. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't realize that this was new enough for Chilling Rain to be in here, but I guess it is. So we're going to go ahead and start off by looking at one of these babies. So first off, we have my least favorite starter, <laughs> that being Piplum. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a... Not a fan of Piplup, which is weird. I've mentioned this before. I love penguins. Uh, penguins are, fr are freaking awesome. But, uh, not a big fan of this little blue boy. So now that trash is out of the way. I'm kidding. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the Chilling Rain pack first. So we're gonna try and open it, ho hopefully. There we go. Um, the back of that was kind of tight. So our code card is a pull? Yes. So there is the code card. We're going to do one, two, three to the front, get rid of our energy, and starting with our uncommons, we have the Flaffy, Path to the Peak, and Lydian. <gasps> Moving on, we have the Rock Ruff, Ghastly, the Ladybug, the Porygon, the Swirlix, the Rugged Helmet, but at the very end, if this can go as well as our last first partner pack did, we have a Schoolipede. Woo. It's cool. We have another chance. We have another shot at getting something good in the Sword and Shield pack. Um, not super hyper confident in it, but you know, I wasn't too confident in the last uh, one of these we did either. So next up, we have the Chimchar, the big old fire monkey. Again, I, I'm not too big on pretty much any of the Diamond and Pearl starters. But I definitely do like Chimchar. I think if I, you know, if I were to play Diamond and Pearl again, it would be this boy. That's probably what I'm going to pick in the remakes. Uh, I don't plan on going back and playing the original Diamond and Pearl again. Um, a lot of people hate me for saying this, because I know Diamond and Pearl got a lot of people into the franchise as a whole. But it is my least favorite of all of the games. So please don't murder me in the comments, but we have the Fire Monkey Boy. And next up, we have the Sword and Shield Pack with the big old Snorlax boy there on the front. Maybe we can get something good out of here. I mean, last time we got something good out of, uh, I believe it was the base set we pulled the good guard out of. Uh, you can go and find out by looking at my last video I did on a first partner pack. There's the code card. We have one, two, three to the front and we get rid of our steel energy. Then we have the Kingler Pal Pad Air Balloon. The Schnom Boy, the Sizzlipede, Ruckadee, Ghastly, Clubopus, Sizzlipede again, this time as a reverse. But we're gonna have something good. We're gonna have something good back here. You ready? Are you prepared? I mean, some people might be able to misconstrue this as being a good pull, so. Yeah. And. For our last big card, we have the Turtwig. Again, not, not a terrible starter. I, I definitely like Timchar and Turtwig more than uh, Piplup. I think I, I don't, it's weird to me. Normally, Turtwig would be like right up my alley, but I kind of like Chimchar more. Uh, but yeah, there is the last of the biggie boys. But of course, we can't forget it has to go in our beautiful binder, in which I have two of the same Pikachu because I have two of the same binder. So bam, there they are. In the binder, we now have the Chimchar, the Turtwig, and the Piplup. I'm doing all of these from fire to grass to water. It just feels like a natural, uh, thing for me. Because fire is usually like the most popular Pokemon in the generation, usually, not always. Um, and then I tend to go grass fairly often, so I do that second, and then water third. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, if you're trying to like get into collecting jumbo cards, obviously it's kind of hard to do because you have to buy like, you know, like certain like sets and stuff like that. But if you're wanting to just, like, get a start to it, I mean, you get three for one of these, uh, you know, partner packs, and you get three regular packs with it, so it's not a terrible deal. 
But anyways, I guess there's no end of video recap since the best pulls we got were uh, reverses. So if you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.